Senator Dush. Thank you, Chairman. I have a couple questions. First of all, do any of you folks have anybody on your teams that are part of the development process that are Six Sigma certified or some equivalent? I don't, I don't know if anybody has that particular qualification, but there are a lot of experts who have been doing this for many years who are working on it. But that particular qualification, I don't know of anyone at DHS who has that. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you developed any performance standards for uh, how each of these departments or, or these sub-departments, bureaus, whatever, are going to be functioning? What you expect to have as far as for the customer service? Are those written down and do you have them available for us? No, that's part of the discussions that are happening right now. Um, first, we have to understand what the structure is going to look like before we would be able to devise and, and document outcomes. But that is part of the work group discussion. But I think all agencies right now do have service measures that we report to the General Assembly, ones that we may use internally. And I think that those could help form the basis of uh, the consolidated agency service measures. We track all those things right now. All right. In the military, we have this thing called MET-TC, Mission, Enemy, Time, Troops, Tactics, and Civilian Concerns. When you're setting out to create a mission, uh, you have a mission objective. You clearly identify it. And when you've got successful businesses, they follow basically the same type of format. It's just different terminology. I am not hearing any of that. We are the we are the sovereigns in this process. We are supposed to have the ability to see what you are doing and have oversight of it. I don't, I don't hear of a mission. I mean, I, we, we've got this vague description. I'm excited about the possibilities like Representative Delicio. There are so many possibilities out there. <clears throat> Just from with watching what my father had to go through with as a placement counselor for Voc Rehab going through different agencies and tying in federal and state agencies. We have a good opportunity to improve some things, a lot of things, and cut down on the, the waste on redundant systems. However, we're facing the same situation at the speed that we're trying to progress with this right now that what happened with Maximus and is still going on with Maximus, although when you shut the payment after we had that hearing, you shut the payments off or threatened to shut the payments off, we got a better service. When we were talking about it during the hearing, all of a sudden Maximus starts getting better services, but it's tapering off again. We're having more problems again in my, in my offices. The waiting lines are growing up. I do not want to have a repeat of that. You guys need to get together form a, a de definitive mission statement. Say exactly what you want to accomplish with, across all the different areas, how you're going to accomplish it, take into consideration all the different factors and get that to us before, so you've got at least a platform to work from because I'm not hearing of a platform to work from. And if you're doing something haphazard, we're going to face the same thing we faced with Maximus. We're going to businesses that fail, fail because they fail to plan. Military operations that fail, generally it's because of a failure to plan. Right now, I'm seeing a failure to plan in a way, and there's, like I said, no defined mission statement, nothing for us to see anyway, or the public. Uh, from what I'm hearing from the uh, people in the various departments, both around the district and who come into my office, there are five or six different directions that the department's looking at going. So you need to have better communication downstream within your departments, uh, and you also need to have better communication with us so that we see we've got a, an effective observation of what you are doing so that when it comes time, as we approach uh, the 1st of July, we've got to know whether or not we're going to have to take legislative action, but we need to have something solid to base that legislative action on. And that time is fast approaching, and I don't want us to be faced with last-minute decisions when 
it's something that's going to be just cobbled together to give us something in writing. I want to see a definitive plan, and I want you to identify all the obstacles. I want you to identify with the federal obstacles that you guys are going to be facing with uh, what the federal government is going to be uh, showing you guys on the, uh, these mergers. The opportunities are there, but we're, we're not seeing that. And we should be a part of this process. You guys should be getting that information to us now so that we have something to look at and that we can do some evaluations. Thank you.